So this is an alternative way to move the camera like a slider. And I was first introduced to this concept back around, oh man, maybe 1998, 90, 1999. I was working on a lot of indie features, low budget features, a lot of horror films. And we were, uh, back then it was all 16 mil and 35 millimeter film. And most of those jobs, they couldn't afford a conventional dolly. And the skateboard type of slider had not really taken off at that point, or I wasn't even aware of it. So uh, this is what we did instead, which was we would run uh, typically speed rail on the ground with skate wheels, and the camera would run on a tripod. So uh, over the last many years, I've built different versions of this type of skateboard slider. And for small shoots, like where I'm solo, or a one person camera department, I much prefer this, even on bigger jobs where they may want one of those um, combo stand, skateboard type of sliders. I'm trying not to name drop because yeah, I don't want to knock any brands. Those are certainly great tools and have lots of wonderful applications, but they're also inherently more dangerous. I had uh, one of my teleprompter packages out on a TV show. It was like a cable series in the field last summer, and they were on a combo stand slider set up with the prompter. And sure enough, at some point, the whole thing toppled over when people weren't looking and went uh, prompter first into the dirt. Fortunately, none of the gear was severely damaged. I just have some dings on the, the prompter monitor from the mishap. But over the years, I've seen numerous cameras topple over on combo stands. Uh, the other piece of that is, at a minimum, you need two people to safely move. And often, you need three if you want to elevate or lower the lens position, you gotta have someone spotting the camera and then a person on each end controlling the combo stand. Um, so I prefer being on the ground. Now, certainly there are some limitations, like if you're outdoors on uneven terrain, now I gotta carry apple boxes or some other means to elevate my track up off the ground where two combo stands you could obviously compensate. I can't slide over a, a countertop where you might be able to like span a counter with combo stands. Now with that said, most projects are little side to side slides. I'm shooting a host or it's an interview and we wanna float back and forth. Uh, and this is just perfect for it. It'll run on carpet. I can run it on grass, pavement, most uneven terrain. I've even done it where I'm on a hillside and either the track's canted uh, to the side a little bit or I've got an incline. And you know, if you're moving fast, I just make it work, get the move and move on. And with this setup, what I can do is when I need to reposition solo, I'll lift the camera off. Let's see if I can do this while holding the other camera. And then I'll, I'll just put the skate wheels right in the center of the track. And I just pick the whole thing up where I'm standing in the center, reposition in my new spot. And again, I only have one hand here, but you get the idea. And I can land the tripod back in the slider. There we go, we're in. And uh, I like these black wheels from Modern. I used to run the red Modern wheels, which are a little bit softer compound. And lately I've been playing with the black ones and prefer them. I have a little bit of an alignment issue there, but as you can see, nice and smooth. And now when I need to change lens position, it's uh, I'm on a tripod. So it's business as usual. I can float up and down without assistance. And then if I need to get lower than standard sticks, you can certainly put baby sticks on the slider. And if I need to get even lower than that, I've got a hi-hat version with a narrower gauge pipe. I didn't want to go digging too much today to find two equally length uh, spans, but this setup fits in my little Transit Connect van. These are six foot pipes. Works out to a little bit over four feet of lens travel end to end. And you can certainly go with longer pipe. And then um, I did a job a few years ago traveling all over Southeast Asia, multiple countries. And uh, we, I built a breakdown version of this where I basically have a star in the center and it's just wing nuts to assemble it. So I could collapse the base and put it in a travel case with the wheels attached. And then in each market, we just bought whatever pipe we could find. Um, 
one country it was black iron, another it was in Thailand we had this like really thin walled PVC that was uh, blue colored. Uh, I've run it on the smaller, let's see I'm in my garage here, and in a pinch we ran on a smaller electrical conduit on a, in one of the countries, made her work. And then uh, domestically here in the States, I've done the same thing. I've flown to multiple markets. Uh, and then even I did a construction travel job where we just used whatever round stock material was on the job site to get our move. And then uh, going back to the hi-hat setup, this uh, works like a conventional skate dolly. You know, I can land that on a countertop. I've spanned between fence, um, fences to do moves with that. Uh, you, you get the idea. Uh, and then I've got uh, in the truck, I'll do a little cutaway here. I have these little um, cups. So on that uh, Asia project, I didn't bring the end caps instead because I didn't know what kind of pipe I'd have in each market. So instead we just used those little soft cups and uh, just ran two parallels. And we were just doing floating uh, interviews and then a little B-roll, we'd shoot little scenes where we'd have a little push in or a, a side to side reveal. So the pipe slider, a result of many years of working in the field and trying to be safer and faster to get the shot. Well, thanks for watching. You can learn more about me and my services as a independent director of photography for business and broadcast on my website, which is wintersmediagroup.com. Thanks.